growing up, I never had any of the Game Boy consoles. I've never been one to heavily play games, but I've always been a fan of the main Pokemon games, so I always depended on emulators to play them. Only recently did I buy a new 3DS XL just to play Pokemon Y and Moon just cause there's no emulators to play those games. And after decades of playing Pokemon on a computer, being able to play it on a handheld console just felt refreshing to me. One thing led to another and I kinda fell into a rabbit hole of custom modded Game Boy consoles. After seeing a handful of them, I started looking up tutorials on doing these Game Boy mods and I felt like challenging myself to mod my own GBA. And while these mods can be fairly simple and only require some basic soldering, maybe some minor modification to the shells, I have no experience in doing this so this is either gonna turn out good or bad. Now the first thing that I needed to do was get a GBA. Bought this off a guy on Carousel for a fairly decent price and while it's able to turn on and work for the most part, I did notice a few main issues. Firstly, the speaker on this, insanely soft. I know that GBAs are kinda notorious for having shitty speakers but you can barely hear anything on this. Secondly, the buttons do not respond very well. They do work but you kinda have to mash on them really hard. And lastly, the contacts in the battery compartment are slightly rusty which isn't really a big deal. I've yet to open up the console and inspect the inside. There might be a few problems that I've yet to uncover but so far, I think those are the main problems. The next thing that I needed to do was order all the parts that I wanted. I ordered a new case on eBay. The buttons, membranes, battery contacts as well as the AGS-101 screen I ordered from AliExpress. I got the speaker module from Retro Modding, bought a white plastic screen from BoxyPixel. And just in case, I also ordered a white glass screen from Retro Modding if I wanted to use that instead of the plastic screen. All I have to do now is wait for everything to arrive, then I can start upgrading my GBA. Should be fun. So it's been a couple of days and as you can tell, I've done a couple of things to my Game Boy Advance. Not to worry though, I'm gonna try cover what I have done so far cause I'm also far from complete. The first thing I did was open up the GBA and inspected the motherboard. Thankfully though, I didn't see any major issues aside from the fact that it needed some cleaning. So I picked up some isopropyl alcohol, got some cotton buds and gave the motherboard, buttons and the membranes a good cleaning. Basically all I did was clean up some of the dirt and tried to clean up the battery compartments. Doing all this helped to fix one of the issues that I faced with the GBA which was that the buttons weren't responding that well. Now on to the second thing that I've done and it is reshell the GBA. Oddly enough all the external parts that I ordered for the GBA arrived today which is kinda amazing. So as you can tell I got the clear blue case and it might be a bit hard to tell on camera but I got the white buttons as well as the white membranes which are also affecting the start and select buttons. The white plastic screen that I ordered came in as well and it looks nice but the quality isn't great so I might just use the glass one instead. The glass one's still yet to arrive but this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. And I have to say I think it looks pretty damn amazing as it is. I also want to point out that this color scheme is totally inspired by a Game Boy Color sold on 8-bit aesthetics so all credits pretty much go to them. I just thought it'd be cool to make a Game Boy Advance in a similar colorway. So yeah, everything works perfectly fine. All I need to do now is to wait for the AGS-101 screen and the speaker module to replace them. So far, everything's going really good. Oh, 
And here we have the modded Game Boy Advance. I've been playing it for a couple of months now and I have to say, it works really well. As you can tell, I ended up using the plastic lens instead of the glass one simply because I wanted that Game Boy Advance logo on the lens. Not to worry though, I actually found a listing for a glass lens with a holographic logo which should arrive to me in a couple of weeks. As to my overall thoughts on modding a Game Boy Advance, there are definitely many pros with a few cons as well. The first and most obvious benefit is that the screen looks really really good. It doesn't show on camera that well but the colours are really vibrant and it makes playing all these GBA games really immersive. The amplifier mod also boosts the volume significantly and while that might not be an important thing to some people, it's just nice to be able to push it up to 11. These go to 11. Now as for the cons, as you can probably imagine, having these mods in a Game Boy Advance does take a toll on the overall battery life. Depending on the game, I find that the battery life is about 5-6 to six hours on average. Which honestly isn't all that bad, but if you intend to play this a lot, you're gonna have to stock up on batteries. The app mod from Retro Modding also has this weird quiet hum when there's not supposed to be any sound at all. By no means is it a deal breaker, it's just something worth taking note of. And this isn't really a complaint, just an observation, but the screen is just slightly less bright as compared to a Model 101 Game Boy Advance SP. I do have plans to further mod the Game Boy Advance, it's definitely not the end for it. As of now, I plan to add a voltage regulator with a brightness control, a rechargeable battery board, and maybe even a GB accelerator. Overall, I think that this mod is worth it for a truly immersive Game Boy Advance experience. I definitely think that there's plenty of GBA games that still hold up to this day and having one of these makes playing those games feel more relevant in this day and age. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now of me modding a Game Boy Advance. I know this is far off from what I normally upload, just thought I'd give myself a fun project to do and indeed it was a fun one. I might do another video when I further mod this again, we'll see how that goes. But until then, that's it for now. Ciao.